2018 saw a revision of Europe's two most important directives for packaging, which have to be implemented by all EU member states by 2020. They are part of the circular economy package and represent a fundamental paradigm shift in packaging policy, a shift that the metal packaging sector wholeheartedly supports. The focus is no longer on renewables or resource efficiency, but on achieving a circular economy in which the value of products, materials and resources is maintained in the economy for as long as possible. Just reducing the weight of packaging is no longer considered packaging waste prevention. Instead, there is a push for packaging materials that are effectively recycled. So, what will change? Firstly, new ambitious recycling rates for overall packaging and per packaging material have been set for 2025 and 2030. They need to be achieved by all member states individually, not just across the EU. Secondly, the way recycling rates are counted has radically changed. Only packaging waste that is effectively recycled can now be reported as recycled. This means collection is no longer the same as recycling. What is collected but not actually recycled will no longer count. Energy recovery from incineration is not the same as recycling and therefore can no longer be counted as recycling. Only what is not lost during incineration, i.e. materials that will be subsequently recycled, will still be included in the recycling rates. Thirdly, packaging will have to be designed for circularity. Extended producer responsibility where the producers who put packaged products on the market provide the main financial contribution for collection and sorting has been around for a while. EPR fees will now be modulated based on real end-of-life costs, providing real financial incentives for products that are easily recyclable, reusable or repairable. This will reshuffle costs among materials. Products that are difficult to recycle or that are not recycled will bear a significant cost burden. Packaging strategies will need to be reassessed to be acceptable for the market going forward. For multi and polymer materials, the circular economy package is a real challenge since they will face significant cost and operational consequences throughout the supply chain to meet the new requirements. Monomaterial packaging, like metal, is perfectly placed to meet the new requirements. Metal packaging is easily separated from other waste and the infrastructure to do so is already widely in place. It is made to be recycled again and again and its secondary raw materials market functions well. The metals value chain will continue to target higher recycling rates and be part of a true circular economy.